Hi everyone. A lot of users are arguing what is the best test selector for working with elements on a page. Cypress has best practices, and one of the best practices for selecting elements is to use a dedicated data attributes, like data test ID, data psi, data E to E. If you look at the page, where are the elements with good data selectors? Well, you cannot tell. You can open the dev tools and inspect the page and you can find, oh, okay, there is data side with a header. There is a main section, there is a footer. What about the individual to two items? Well, they don't have data selectors, they have a class. So I wanted this problem of communicating which elements do not have data attributes solved. And to do that, I create a little plugin called Cypress Highlight. It injects a CSS style sheet if one doesn't exist and it highlights elements with a given data attribute. By default, I believe it uses data side, but you can pass your own list of attributes. By passing the list of attributes, you get a screenshot, if you want to, which you can then send to our members of a team and say, hey, we need the good data test IDs for the rest of the elements on this page. So let's see how we can use it. First, we need to install the plugin. After it has been installed, we need to import a function. There are no custom commands in this case, it's just a function. So I'll import it right here. Now let's say we're visiting the page, we sorted the elements are visible, that means the page has rendered. Now we can say highlight. And by default, let's see what it does. Okay, so it highlighted only the elements with a red outline, and these elements have data psi attribute. Let's say we want to highlight the to do as well. So we'll say data psi. So that's the first selector. And the second one is to do. So we just highlighted all elements that have data psi attribute and all the elements that have class to do. And you can see that we have a toggle for destroying a to do element and it also probably has a data psi element. So once we can show the highlights, we need to communicate. So I'll say screenshot and I'll say uh, selectors, for example. And the one thing I like doing is I like capturing the entire runner. And in this case, I like it because the highlight plugin prints the list of selectors right here before using them. And so in this case, when I look at the screenshot taken by this test, I can zoom in and I can, I can see the list of attributes that we outline with red and then we can see the screenshot in the main iframe of those elements. And now anyone looking to add uh, data test IDs can look a screenshot and see what else is missing. So give Cypress Highlight uh, a try. Let me know if there are any problems.